this is Dr. James, and today we're going to talk about high power Marx generators. Now, a Marx generator is a way of uh, generating very high voltage at very high powers. And the way it works is you charge up a capacitor bank in parallel and you discharge it in series. And uh, this particular Marx generator is at eight stage, meaning it has eight capacitors. And uh, I actually had to use um, some uh, water resistors, which is a kind of my own design. Where the this, the two PVC four PVC pipes are filled with uh, deionized water, and um, the reason why I had to do that is because these uh, normal resistors would arc across when I use them. Okay, so uh, this also has a spark gap configuration where all the spark gaps are lined up so that the spark gaps can see each other. And uh, before I started working. Uh, at the N uh, NRL, I went to a conference and a guy from NRL uh, was actually talking about a Marx generator that they're developing and they claim that they could get very fast rise times with a Marx generator by having all the spark gaps lined up like that. And so when the spark gaps are lined up all in a row so that they can see each other, the UV light from the first one that breaks will radiate the rest of them and uh, cause them to break down much faster. And uh, so this, this type of design can give you a very fast rise time with a Marx generator. Okay, so let's take a look at this guy and see how he operates. All right, here is hooked up to the output of the Marx generator. Take a look down inside. See the row of spark gaps. And This is the uh, battery, goes through the capacitor, through this FET, through this uh, high frequency transformer, into this full wave bridge rectifier, and then charges the Marx generator at the bottom. And it looks like we are running at about 96.23. You can always tell when we come into resonance because uh, the neon light will start lighting up. It's near the wire. Marker crash there. I don't seem to see it on the film, but okay. Let it like cool down for a little bit.